finally got this done. This has taken me hours. What happened? Oh no. This will be an introduction to a battery backup system for the beginner. This video is not meant to go into great depth, but to give you a starting point of some of the features and how a battery backup works. This particular unit is made by APC and it's called the Battery UPS Pro 1000. Right now I have a external monitor and this laptop plugged into the back of this and this is plugged into my ordinary um, electrical socket. If I push this button on the front it gives me some detailed information about my battery status. Inside this is a battery, actually a set of batteries, and if the power were to go out or dip below a certain threshold the batteries will take over and actually power these units without any electricity coming in from the utility company. This second little icon down here is a battery and you can see that it's fully charged so when this unit is on in standby it keeps itself charged and conditioned this top little icon here shows how much of a load is on the system and it also says down here my load is nine percent so I'm only using nine percent of its total capability you want to make sure that you have a big enough battery backup system to accommodate whatever's plugged into it. And right now, 9% of the total load is very good. If I click through this button, it gives me other information, such as the AC power is now on at 124 volts. And if I click it again, it shows the hertz at which the electricity is coming in. And this is the in voltage 124 volts this number here is the estimated run time using these two devices if the if the electricity were to go out right now you can see that it's estimated that I would have 111 minutes I could actually run this computer before the battery was depleted I think that number is a little bit blown up but uh it's supposed to be accurate and then this final number 56 watts is the current load on the system so between the laptop and this monitor over here it's a total of 56 watts let's go ahead and flip this over and look at the back of it usually with these battery backup systems there'll be quite a few plugs on the back and the way that this one's set up is there's plugs that are marked for battery backup, which I have in use right now. These are the two plugs for the monitor and the laptop. And these will allow it to continue running on battery power. And then the other ones are just for surge suppression only. And it will make sure that power spikes and so forth are taken out of the electricity before it reaches your electronics. Some of the other features that are on the back of this take care of if you wanted to bring your internet into this area here, it'll protect any line spikes from coming in through your cable modem. This would be for a cable TV and this is so you can interface it with your computer. More on that in a minute as well as it has an external ground lug here and there's a reset switch here. So you know you don't have to just power computers with this what I plan on using this one for is to hook to my pellet stove you know a pellet stove runs great but it does rely on electricity to run the fans and my pellet stove runs about 80 watts and frequently our power does go down and when that happens if I have a fire inside the pellet stove it'll smoke the house up because there's no exhaust fan running 
this unit should be able to power that at least 100 minutes before the power goes off. So it's pretty simple. I've got the uh, two monitor, the computer and the monitor hooked up to it right now. I'm going to go ahead and cut the power to this unit so you can see that there's no delay or anything. It doesn't even flinch. Let me go ahead and turn off the power now. Okay, the battery is now on and you've probably seen this flinch a little bit and it is now on battery power now normally these will start beeping but I disabled the beeping on it because it's very annoying especially for the video but uh, you can see it's kind of adjusting that 111 minutes this is actually going down a little bit to 106 but these two devices right now are running purely on the UPS system it just dropped down to 99 let me go ahead and apply power again and you probably heard that little click that's the relays inside the unit that are kicking out so you know you don't have to do anything this unit just sits under the desk and takes care of all the functions including charging its own batteries and now if I flip back through you can see that the event trigger is now one most APC units and battery backups in general have a way to hook it to a computer and this is no exception as I mentioned earlier this port right here allows you to hook it into the computer this wire comes with the unit and it has kind of like a little phone plug type end on it that plugs into here And of course this is the USB so we'll go ahead and plug this into our computer okay we're here at my computer and I've got the p power supply battery backup plugged into this desktop now and I did that so I could show you a screenshot of the software that comes with the, mach the uh, battery backup it's called power shoot and I have the personal edition running what this software allows you to do is play with some of the settings and then monitor what's happening with the actual battery system. You can see that right now it's currently on AC power and 100% so my battery is charged fully. And you know the input voltage 123 and it also shows me my battery load and I'm at 132 watts right now and that's because I moved it from my little laptop in the other room to this larger desktop that takes more power. But I have a lot of spare left so I could I could run quite a few more things if I wanted to. This software also allows you to configure things such as notifications. You know, if the power goes off, what you want it to do. Normally what you'd like it to do is probably shut it down after being on so long so that things are saved especially if you're not with it when it happens. You can adjust things such as the sensitivity, you know, how much you want the power to fluctuate would depending on what type of electronics are plugged into this. You can come into energy management and set up a savings plan to help you reduce your energy usage. It has a lot of technical data in here and most of this stuff you're not gonna use, but it's nice to know. It also will calculate how much energy you'll use and you can put in your your kilowatts per hour cost and it will calculate how much this uses in days, weeks, and months. The main use for this software is to have it do something if plugged into the computer such as shut it down like I had mentioned before. and because I have about 50 minutes remaining on this, if I was to set it up for this machine, I would say that after, say, 45 minutes, this machine safely save everything automatically and shut down. That's what you can use it for. So that is it for the Uninterruptible Power Supply Beginner's Guide. You know, they're handy units to have, and you don't have to just use them for computers. Like I said, I plan on using this one on my pellet stove. If you're interested, you can look in the comment section. I'll leave in the description an Amazon link. And if you do 
use that link it would help us out here at the show a lot so thanks for that so thanks for watching if you have questions leave them in the comments below hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel you know there's a little subscribe box down there and you'll be notified by email when new videos come available so thanks for watching we'll see you next time take care bye for now hey guys this is Steve thanks for watching hey don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment see ya